We're 2-1 and one in the AFC. We're 1-0 in the AFC North, and we're 0-3 in the NFL, I mean the NFC. The positive here is we have five home games. We have five divisional games. There is a lot of football to be played here. Uh, I know from personal experiences that um, I've been on teams that, you know, have had more starts than this. And guess what? They've played really good at the back end of the season. I can remember as a player in like 1984, we wound up 0-7. We started the season at 0-7, but we wound up, I think we wound up somewhere like 7-9 and or something like that. And in 1992, um, I think it was Coach Holmgren's first year on that team, they were 2-5, and five, but they wound up with a, win a winning record. In Kansas City in 2015, I want to say we were at 1-5, and five, yeah, one in five, and we wound up uh, going, I'm trying to think what we were. I think we were, we ran 10 straight, and then we eventually made it to the playoffs. But, you know, it's the moment now. You have to understand, the, everybody within the building has to understand it's one of those moments where you have to reflect, do attention to detail, and move this thing forward with a sense of urgency. And that's what we're going to do. Freddie's message to the team the last two days has been excellent. Uh, about moving this thing forward, about looking yourself in the mirror. And um, it's always good sometimes to look yourself in the mirror and say, what can I do to make myself better and the Cleveland Browns better? What, what we have to do is probably have to be a little bit more consistent. We have to be a little bit more um, attention to detail. And I think what you do here now, the, the players now have a chance in these next four days to kind of, you know, look themselves in the mirror and just say, okay, what can I do? What I haven't done in the first six games to kind of forge this thing and move this thing in a positive direction. Because there, again, I can reiterate, there's a lot of football left to be played.